Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. And today on Photo Blue, I'm going to discuss the differences between Luminar 4 and Luminar AI. All right, so first of all, the big question is what is Luminar AI? Luminar AI to most people would be Luminar 5, or that's what we would call it. They call it Luminar AI because they feel the workflow has changed and the way you look at editing photos has changed and the interface has changed enough so that it's different and they want to kind of delineate it from Luminar 4. But I think the name is kind of confusing to a lot of people. So you can kind of think of it as Luminar 5. So it's the next version of Luminar. Uh, but they have changed a bunch of what, things about the way uh, you work in it. Uh, the first thing is we have the catalog here, which is, was called the library, I believe, in Luminar 4. And if we, we go here, one of the major changes here is they no longer have star ratings here. They only have favorite or reject, or you can leave it alone. Uh, do nothing to it as far as uh, marking it. So there are flags. They only have flags here, whether it's, it's uh, rejected or favorite. So that's the the one of the main differences as far as the catalog or the library goes the next thing is there's a section now called templates and templates is kind of a quick edit thing where you have different types of um, uh, categories like scenery for example and under each of those you have presets and the presets do different things and uh, some of them just kind of change the contrast or the uh, color temperature or um, other aspects of how um, bright or saturated the picture is. And then some of them actually will, will do things like add, this one actually adds clouds as well as changing um, other um, attributes of the picture. So that's, that's kind of an interesting function uh, on on this and so that you can edit things quickly and make some quick changes and put out photographs very quickly uh, or you can start with a template and then you can go to edit and you can you can uh, adjust it you can fine-tune it or you can just go to edit you can skip the templates entirely you don't have to go to templates so if we go here and we go up to uh, tools if you've used Illuminar before, all of these tools are familiar, but they're laid out differently before they were kind of laid out along the side here. Now it's it's emphasizing more, and I think this started in the last version of Illuminar. Uh, I think the differences between three and four are they started looking more at some of these functions as what you would want to do as opposed to just being a layer. Each of these things actually create a layer basically. So if we add, um, uh, for example, uh, lighting. So if we change the color temperature of this, we can hit here and go reset and we're just resetting the layer basically. So we can do anything on here. This is a separate layer. In fact, some of these, if we just go in like this and change, uh, this one only has a reset, but some of these things that we, we can change, we can actually convert and it will have an on and off on it. So for instance, if we change it to black and white, it creates a, a black and white layer and we can do a lot of adjustments to it, but we also can turn that layer on and off. So it's kind of almost like hiding the layer would be in Photoshop. So those are some of the things as far as making all of these adjustments. It also has the uh, sky AI, which replaces your sky and augmented sky, just like the last version did, but it's, it's laid out a little bit differently as far as that goes. Now, instead of the layers level, it has something called local uh, masking and we can add different masks. So we can load a basic, which has um, color temperature, exposure, highlights, shadows, and we can actually use a paintbrush to localize those and we can actually resize our paintbrush so it's smaller or larger and we can actually use the gradient mask tool and the radio mask tool as well to apply 
uh, some of these changes. The other thing we can do is we can add what's called the texture layer. And once again, we can use uh, a paint mask, a, a radial mask, or a gradient mask for that. So we can use a mask for that. And uh, we can load a texture, which is just another photograph, basically. And once we load another texture, we can place the texture wherever we want, and we can change the opacity of it. So this this basically does what layers does, but it's not called layers. It's called texture. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. So they're they're changing the way the workflow is to this program. And uh, I actually think it's easier to use than Luminar 4, but it still has most of the same functionality as the old program and uh, a few new things as well. But the main thing is that it's changed the interface and the workflow. This has been Photo Blue. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.